Here we are at a young Namdak Mai tree, and we happen to have a little problem here with the leaves, and Har's going to tell us all about that. So I'm not really talking about this white stuff, whatever that is left over. I'm talking about this smudgy black stuff that catches our eye. That is not really a serious problem. It's called black sooty mold. The only harm it's doing to the plant is that it's shading the leaf a little bit so that the leaf is getting less sun and therefore photosynthesizing less. Uh, we do not bother to treat for black sooty mold. However, it instantly gets our attention because it's a side effect of a real problem. For finding the real problem, we look above the leaves that have the black city mold. And right here we go. Here. Okay, I'll just take one of these leaves over. Oh, I guess I'll take that one over. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Um, so, on the back of that leaf is scale. You see. Right along in here. That is, as far as I know, the regular old mango scale. And on this leaf I see a reason to not recommend any kind of treatment. On this leaf, almost all the scales have been killed by beneficial parasites. You can see the exit holes where the larvae of the Parasites have hatched out into adult insect, you know, predatory insects. I don't remember if this is a, a predatory wasp or some other sort of predatory insect. But they're already taking care of this problem, so we do not need to spray. So sometimes black sooty mold can really take over a tree, though. It's a common complaint. I think it happens more in shady areas. Is that uh, what you've also noticed? Well, uh, and one of the reasons for shading is that the black sooty mold is coming from something overhead. So that overhead uh, leaf is providing some shade. Uh, whether it's a coconut palm growing over your mango tree that has white fly or some other pest under it, or uh, higher up branches of the same tree. Now have you seen other um, instances besides the scale uh, sooty mold relationship? Is there anything else that causes the black sooty mold in the mangoes? Uh, many. I just mentioned the white fly which can can be under mango leaves, but are these uh, the eggs of white fly? Uh, there they appear to be eggs of something, but if they were white fly eggs, they would usually be on the underside. Oh, I believe we got that too. <laughs> yeah, true. Uh, they're old and hatched out. Whatever they are, uh, I'm not sure. I am. Not I am able not to a plant that, pathologist so. or a plant entom entomologist, in other words, insect uh, on plant. Anyone with real technical questions and wanting to be sure they're identifying stuff right would be well advised to get in contact with the Tropical Research and Education Center in, if you're in Florida. And they have more than one plant pathologist and more than one plant entomologist. So another thing uh, to uh, point out is the black sooty mold doesn't just fall on the leaves, it's also on the stems here and the branches. It just covers everything. And uh, if everything, it, if it's just there as a remnant, you can just wash it off with soapy water usually. It's, um, is, uh, if, you, you're if you're able to rub it, just spraying it with a soapy water may kill it, but uh, the sooty mold tends to stay on there until it gets blasted by really heavy rain or pressurized water. Uh, not a pressure cleaner, but 
you know, a, a, a garden <laughs> you want hose. leaves still left on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have seen pressure cleaners su successfully used, but with a wide spray attachment mm -hmm. and standing back. Uh, some people actually spray their trees with water pressure. Uh, I mean, with pressure cleaner uh, equipment. Okay, well. Uh, another thing that does work is oils. With either soaps or oils, you always need to spray in slow drying conditions. If your spray dries in five or ten minutes, you probably have not accomplished anything other than wasting your time and money. Uh, if it stays on there for half hour or more wet, then you're probably suffocating the problem, whether it's a fungus or an insect. <laughs>